Oh wait, the princess has to get comfortable. Are you are you comfortable? Are you good? Okay. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So I feel like the way our morning starts is a good indicator of the way the rest of your day is gonna go. Like when you roll out of bed and you stub your toe, it's just kind of setting the tone for the day. Forget this day, I'm starting over. So I am going to be talking about the things we could do in the morning to set ourselves up to have an amazing day. These are healthy habits that you could just integrate into your regular morning routine. They're quick, they're easy, and they're gonna make you feel good. So if you guys do like this as a video concept, give it a thumbs up and I can maybe do a night version of this in the future. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, hit the red subscribe button. Once I hit 800,000 subscribers, which may be soon, kind of blowing my mind, I will be doing a big giveaway. So with all that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. So our healthy morning habits actually start the night before. I find that if you prep for your morning, it is going to make your entire day runs so much more smoothly. The first thing that I like to prep is my outfit. If you don't plan your outfit, sometimes you become like a tornado in the morning trying to find what to wear. So if you just take a couple minutes to pick out something the night before, it will save you time, it will save you frustration, and you'll make less of a mess. In addition to planning your outfit, you might also want to pack your bag. I always do this, especially if I'm going somewhere with Carter. I like to have everything ready and set to go. If you watch my purse organization video, you'll see I have kind of a modular system. I have things in different smaller compartments. I just pop that into whatever bag I'm using. I take a few minutes to think of what I have to do the next day and I jot it down on my to-do list. This will just help you go to sleep a little bit easier because you're not thinking of all the things you have to do that you might possibly forget. If you have it written down, you can release it from your mind. And if you really want to be an overachiever, something I've started doing recently is meal prep your breakfast. Get your breakfast ready to go so you don't have to do any cooking or cleaning in the morning. And if you do this the night before, you can prepare yourself something healthy so you don't have to grab some junk in the morning because you're in a hurry. Here are my three favorite meal prep breakfasts. The first is banana and peanut butter sandwich. This bread that I found has five grams of protein per slice, helps get some protein in there. Then this cashew nut butter I use is also high in protein, has seven grams per serving, some good healthy fats, and our banana. This does hold up well overnight in the fridge. The next thing I like to do is make steel cut oatmeal in the rice cooker. I put half a cup of oats and two cups of water, and then I set it on a delay timer so that it will start cooking early in the morning and it's ready to eat once I wake up so I don't have to do anything but scoop it out and eat it. And the last really quick and easy option I like to do are smoothie bags. I've shown this in a video which I will link down below, but you just put your ingredients in a Ziploc bag, pre-portion out, and all you have to do the morning of is dump it in the blender, add your liquid, blend it up, and that's it. Now the morning of, time to wake up, one thing I highly recommend is to get up immediately. It is so tempting to press the snooze button and just try to linger and prolong that time in bed. I'm not gonna lie, I used to be very guilty of the snooze, but now that I have a baby, I don't have a choice. Like, the baby's up, I'm up. Before you eat or drink anything, it's great to get in the habit of just drinking a bunch of water. You could also do lemon water. Get that in your system. It's gonna help get you nice and hydrated because dehydration is linked to fatigue, help start your metabolism, and make you feel good. Take under a minute and make your bed. The reason I like to do this is it just sets my day on the right track. If I've done nothing else that day, I've at least made my bed. And you can just do the shortcut method and just pull your covers up over your pillow. And that takes just 20 seconds, if that. The next habit I've recently got back into is dry brushing. I use my oil. If you guys didn't know, I have my own body oil that's all organic. It's amazing. So I put that all over my body and then I use this dry brush. And you go in circular motions all around your body. And what this does, it helps get your blood flowing, your circulation going. It also can help smooth out any cellulite and that does work because I've been doing it now for about three months and I've noticed a difference. So that's just a good way to kind of invigorate you and wake you up in the morning. Something that I found helps a lot in getting out of bed and getting motivated is to give myself a little treat or reward in the morning. So what mine is lately is a matcha tea latte. All I do for this is get a little saucepan. I put my milk, in this case I use 
almond milk, a half a teaspoon of matcha powder, two teaspoons of xylitol, mix that up together until it's warm, and I have my nice, delicious matcha. When I'm downstairs in the morning eating my breakfast, I try to put on upbeat, uplifting music. It just puts me in a good mood. I always like to incorporate some type of aromatherapy. For most of the year, I will use my essential oil diffuser, but in the fall time in particular, I like to light a nice fall candle. It just makes me feel cozy. The last habit is going on a walk, and this is going to have multiple different benefits. First is it gets you moving, it gets you outside, and you can knock it out early on in your day so you're less likely to come up with excuses for other things you have to do. And to really multitask, I like to listen to an audiobook or podcast, something that's going to inspire me and motivate me. Right now, I am really into listening to the podcast, How I Built This. It's about how different entrepreneurs set up their companies. I listen to that and I am ready to start my day and get to work. All right, so those are my tips for today. If you guys did enjoy it, then give this a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what your favorite morning habit is. And also let me know for my 800,000 subscriber giveaway, what you want to see me give away. Maybe something that I haven't done before. So I've already done the Dyson V8, and I've done an iPhone and other Apple products like iPads. So let me know if you have any other ideas. And with all of that said, I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye.